Jerno Rogers over here. Oh, mate, I feel like I'm bloody Mark Robinson. I wonder if everyone can like smell our fish out of water sort of vibe here. You know what, I reckon we just fake it till we make it, because we definitely don't belong in this room. Someone sort of half made a joke before. Someone said something about like, oh, journalism students? I heard that. Oh, really? I did not hear that. A 29.75 ATAR definitely didn't get me into journalism at uni. Did not own a textbook or a workbook. <laughs> Got my way into uni and I lasted a semester. So we pulled aside my favourite player, Mitchie Hannon. <laughs> Mitchie, how good was Friday night? Yeah, it was pretty amazing, mate. Um, the crowd was unbelievable and, and obviously to get the win as well. Just yeah. well. With Jack Viney, the skipper, how was Friday night, mate? It's pretty good. Uh, you know, biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. First final, um, so yeah, it was a big moment for the the football club, and um, you know, I felt like we, we rose to the occasion and um, could be prouder of, of the performance we put in. Oh, I'm level, mate. Uh, Ninety two thousand, and to be able to get the win um, against a really good side in, in Geelong. Um, it shows the maturity of the group now that we've got and uh, really looking forward to Friday night. How would you pull up afterwards? Because you didn't play much footy going into the final. Yeah, I was bloody sore. Um, you know, I've woken up pretty stiff and then, you know, probably two days post or even stiffer. Yep. Um, we're now three days post and today I'm actually starting to feel a bit better, so... I just YouTube. Yeah. Well, welcome to YouTube, Harmsy. Hey mate, how are you? It's just a bit different. Yeah, it is a bit different. Summer four. Um, you're in absolute amazing form. Yeah, how fun is it running out and getting 30 touches every week? <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's a bit easier when you've got Maxi Dawn hitting it down his throat. So, uh, but nah, the team's playing really well. And it's a lot easier to play good footy when the team's in good form. How quickly did it take you to stop celebrating that and then move on to the uh, move on to the next play game? It was probably straight after the game, to be honest. As yeah. soon as we left the MCG. So 10:40. You know, like it was so special to have all our family and friends, um, you know, directors um, in, the, in the rooms afterwards to be able to just, you know, cuddle and kiss all your loved ones yeah. and be on the journey with you and share it with them was really special. So, and then as soon as we uh, we left the MCG, you kind of go to bed that night and wake up and you're, uh, you're already on to the next week and recovering and trying to get better. So, yeah, I'm just enjoying the journey at the moment. So. Oh, mate, so am I as well. <laughs> um, how was that goal? The last quarter, 92. 2,000 people. Go Hannon! Go Hannon! Finish! Finish! Yeah! I think it was Henderson. He had a bit of a nightmare, Henderson. Uh, <laughs> how about the call from um, BT? Uh, BT. Uh, like, how many times have you listened to that? I don't know, like... Look, I've been sent it a few times, yeah. that's for sure. Um, yeah, that was pretty amazing. I'll Pretty lucky he just ended up falling over there, otherwise it would have been uh, a bit of a one-on-one -on -one chase. But um, I don't know, the adrenaline sort of kicks in and, and you don't really hear a lot, you just kind of... Does it kick in in that moment? Do you feel it at all or does it just all happen so quickly and then all of a sudden... You're, you're right, the adrenaline probably comes in afterwards, but at that moment you sort of, um, you're a little bit numb to sort of the noise of the crowd and, and um, your worries of what you should be doing, you're kind of sort of in autopilot mode. So. Um, I was just thankful that I sort of was able to hang on to the ball and then eventually yeah. slot it. We're here with David Neitz, reincarnated Sammy Wiedemann. Mate, you're in the form of your career, I reckon. Oh, it's uh, coming together, sort of timed it well. Uh, able to play finals, pretty pretty cool feeling, so I'm stoked. Now, you've played plenty of roles this year. Oh, when you first came in, I was like a Cameron Bruce type forward and then all of a sudden you're on the wing and now you're sort of floating in the back line. Do, does that bother you, sort of switching around around the ground? Um, no, not really. Uh, I like having a bit of versatility. Um, I guess if I'm not playing well somewhere, I can be swung somewhere else and the coach, coaching staff can have confidence in what I'm going to do. And um, But yeah, I like to be versatile, I suppose. How did Friday night compared to the first time you played finals? Uh, oh, we won, so uh, that, that helps. Um, but, uh, you know, we know how good Geelong were and to be able to get one over them after they beat us twice during the year, uh, it, it was good. So we're just here with Christian Salem. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Going well. It looks like you're really enjoying that role off the back one. Yeah, it sort of came about after round four or five. Um, and obviously I started in the midfield, but moved down back just to, I guess, use my skill set a bit more, get the ball moving. So uh, it's been a good change. Now, uh, you kicked three on the weekend. What one was your favourite? Ooh, the Kong Kong uh, quarter time got everyone absolutely up and Yeah, I almost missed that one, but <laughs> so I was a bit nervous. Uh, I don't know, I reckon probably the last one. Brayshaw.
just to sort of the, know that probably that was the seal up. Do you, I mean, didn't want to milk the clock? No, just no. To run in and <laughs> I didn't want to have another steady. I was <laughs> like, no, I'm just going to try and bang this one through. So that was cool. James will be up hard with a selfie stick with you about three feet. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Frosty here, it was Friday night. Yeah, no, Friday night was good fun. It was unreal. Um, the crowd was crazy, so it was really enjoyable. Um, are you looking forward to Friday night against the Hawks? That's another big challenge. No, I just couldn't, couldn't care less about it. <laughs> not, not looking forward to it. Nah. Has, hasn't even thought about it. Um, I actually haven't thought about it too much yet. Um, went out and watched a bit of local footy on the weekend. Um, Who's the local mob you get behind? Well, local club's Devon Meadows Football Club. Um, but I went out and watched Renault versus Mount Eliza yesterday. Okay. Uh, you know, Luke, Luke Tapscott and Chris Dawes play oh, yeah. a couple pass players. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, I kind of try and you know, stay pretty calm and get my excitement a little bit later in the week. So, yeah. Yeah, how do you go sleeping after a Friday night? Yeah, because I heard it's pretty tough after the, all the adrenaline. Yeah, I probably didn't get to sleep till three o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah. That's mine usually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's probably the latest I've ever gone to bed. I think. So um, you're really looking like you're starting to settle down back in that role. Yeah. Do you feeling confident? Yeah, yeah I feel real confident. Um, I think the whole back line's probably sort of settled a bit uh, of recent recent weeks. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're working well together and the chemistry is good. Uh, yeah, so we feel really confident. Um, and the Hawks on Friday night, another big challenge. Yeah, obviously they finished top four for a reason, so they'll be looking to bounce back after Richmond. So, um, you know, we'll get, we go to work this week, put in our uh, best performance out there and just prepare as normal. What's one of your favourite parts about defending? Is it that lockdown, try and beat the man, or do you like getting off and having a bit of a run? Yeah, it's probably a bit of both. It's obviously defence first, um, which I really enjoy. I, I, I enjoy trying to beat my, my opponent, but you know I know how much everyone enjoys it when I get it, get to do a bit of rebounding as well, and I enjoy that as well. So you know it's it's a balance, but defence first probably. But yeah, it is it is good fun running off. Um, how, how does some of those pass players? Because I see you getting on the bevs with uh, Matty Jones and, and players like that. How are they feeling uh, with the club? at this point in time. Yeah, the rat, Matty Jones, he's a bloody legend. Um, I spoke to him last week, he, he's really excited. Um, he's been coming to all the games. Um, so I think, you know, not only us, but you know, the past players and all the supporters are really excited. And it sort of felt like when you were coming in, you had the belief in yourself that you could come in and make an impact? Yeah, I think um, over the last few sort of few weeks, I've been able to sort of build a bit more belief. I think some of probably haven't had the last couple of years. And, I don't know, I think the support of the boys around me so it helps me feel a bit more comfortable at the level and yeah, it's a it's a cool thing. Like um just enjoying it, loving the footy. You've got number four in on your hand, what's that come from? Nah, that's Jay. Um I can't remember. I wrote that on my hand to remember something, but yeah, I can't remember what it is. <laughs> oh, I wrote it this morning. You know, I'm a huge armchair critic. I'm quick to write people off when I'm watching the footy. Uh, I'm glad he's being honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in. No, I'm not gonna right. lie to you, Lee. Write you off. No, that's fine. First, first three, four games, write you off and you forced me. To eat more words. Like that, I was watching that final one, hang on, I'm completely wrong on this one. And this guy's <laughs> gonna be an all Australian one day. No. I, I'm a massive D's fan and I cop it whenever I throw some stuff out. When um, when Frosty was on Buddy, I'm like, I'm backing him in. And then when Weed was coming in, yeah. you I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm backing the weed in, I reckon he's gonna rip the game to shreds. So it's just good that uh, as a D's fan who's copped it, we can start giving it back a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know, oh well, yeah. I don't know, I was copping a little bit for early days, but um, no, nah, it's sort of good to put a, put a few good games together and yeah, I'm Make glad, I'm glad yeah. You're, on, I'm on, you're on my side, that's right. so that's good. Um, now, you have been kicking plenty of goals lately. We did a goal kicking challenge on YouTube and um, my goal kicking technique is questionable. And the Caden uh, supporters on YouTube just bloody drilled into me like no tomorrow. We want you to analyse Connor's goal kicking um, technique. Here's the video here. In my, uh, this is my field of uh, expertise. Uh, yeah, goal yeah, 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 we'll talk through the biomechanics and just <laughs> see what went wrong. Yeah. So there's a bit of a skip. There's a bit of a skip to the technique. But straight through the high diddle diddle that's the But that sailed through. That looks. That looks. I mean, whatever works. Whatever's on a. There's, there's a real you know, jump. Pe to it. People, yeah. people question Buddy's kicking action as well. Jeez, he's giving it everything. Jeez, your leg goes high. There's a big sort of a hurdle jump in the end yeah. of the kick. 
I'm not the greatest goal kicker. Maybe go and see uh, Tom McDonald. He's got a that might be. Well, we, we might have to go to Gorney because he's starting to slot them. Yeah, I wouldn't go to Gorney. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mind it. I think you've got a lot of power going through. Just make sure that ball drops right. I don't see too much wrong with it. I, mean, I think if it's going straight, then um, that's all you can uh, you can ask for. So. Captain of the Melbourne Footy Club, yeah, telling yeah. me my goal kicking spot. That's probably, probably a better leg than mine. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Jack. Thanks for your time, mate, and uh, all the best on Friday night. Oh, Rog, successful day here at the D's Open Media Session. Friday, it's not like this is like before, um, you know, before round one. This is this is final footy sort of stuff, and we're just in the inner yeah. circle. Now we've got an image beyond me, but we were, we were slightly nervous heading in when we saw how sort of professional it was. You know, you've got all the Fox Sports commentators around, but I reckon we did ourselves justice here. All right, guys, I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate all the support, and we'll see you very soon. Beautiful.